News, the number one destination for your local and global tech news made in Miami. I'm Sophia Vitello. And I'm Liam Fabre. Great news for the thousands of users who have already downloaded the Inside Switcher app. Inside Switcher is now available in English, Spanish, Portuguese, and Italian. Do you know what that means? It means Switcher is not only going to be the number one multi-camera live streaming app in the United States, but it's going to be the number one in the world. Is this Miami company ready for global domination or what? I don't know about you guys, but I was born ready. After Netflix released the trailer for its big budget original action blockbuster Red Notice last month, Dwayne Johnson told his fans it was the biggest investment Netflix has ever made in a film. Red Notice's budget ballooned from $160 million to $200 million, with The Rock, Ryan Reynolds, and Gal Gadot all set to earn upwards of $20 million apiece. As the most expensive film in Netflix history, Red Notice, which arrived on the platform this Friday, faces pressure to provide a return on investment. But without a traditional box office to analyze, such a benchmark could be difficult to evaluate. Riot Games' newly released League of Legends animated series Arcane has crossed its first major milestone, debuting in the number one spot among all TV shows on Netflix and dethroning streaming juggernaut Squid Games in the process. According to Fix Patrol, Arcane secured the number one spot on Netflix Top 10 in the first appearance. The series beat out other major streaming titles like Squid Games, which was number two, Narcos Mexico number three, You number four, and Made number five. See, everyone was talking about Squid Games and now they've moved on. You never know what could be the next big thing. It could even be you. TikTok, which is already a popular fixture on many smartphones, is now moving to the biggest screen in the home, the television set. This week, Amazon launched the new TikTok app on its Fire TV streaming devices, introducing TikTok to its audience across the US and Canada. The collaboration enables users to watch TikTok videos with family members without huddling around a cell phone to see the latest viral video. Ever heard of the company Netscape? Yeah, me either. Netscape was an online browser like Google Chrome or Firefox in the early 90s, and they ended up going out of business because they were charging money for a service that was free with other competitors. Netscape reminds me a lot of Zoom, and I think Zoom will suffer a similar downfall. You see, competitive pressures from Microsoft Teams and Google Meet will make it impossible for Zoom to maintain its growth and the premium pricing going forward. The attempted acquisition of Five9 and the recent news about Zoom showing ads in its free product could indicate the company is worried about revenue growth. Looks like Zoom will disappear and just be that thing we barely remember from the pandemic. I mean, look, why would you use old boring Zoom when you could use Stream Studio? The cryptocurrency market is now worth over $3 trillion according to CoinGecko. This comes as the top digital coins including Ether and Bitcoin skyrocketed on Monday. Ether, the second largest cryptocurrency by market value under Bitcoin, hit a new all-time high above $4,700 on Monday. It is currently trading at around $4,785 according to CoinMetrics data. Along with it, Bitcoin is inching closer to its record high of above $66,900. Others like Solana are also in the green. This year, Solana's token SOL is up nearly 12,000%. If you are waiting for a sign to get into crypto, this might be it, guys. And now it's time for a Did You Know Fun Fact, selected by Stream CEO Gio Punzo. Did you know that MTV Music Television made its debut at 12.01 a.m. August 1st, 1981? That means MTV's been around for 30 years. Sadly, they failed to adapt, and they're going the way of the dodo bird. If you are an enterprise sports team, church, or event organizer, you need multi-camera viewpoints. How else are you going to broadcast all of your content without missing out on the most important moments? Stream's latest invention takes that to the next level. Multi-camera streaming to social media with Inside Switcher will lower costs of production and increase content creation by 90%. You won't need a large crew, expensive equipment, or anything else that has stopped you in the past. All you need is a phone and a tablet and the Inside Switcher app to take your dream to the next level. Like almost everyone else, it seems directors are quickly joining the NFT game with filmmakers like David Lynch and Wong Kar Wai turning their own movies into digital collectibles. Now Quentin Tarantino is playing catch up and he's revisiting his most famous film to do it. This week Tarantino took the stage at NFT NYC, a week-long crypto art conference in Times Square, to announce that he's turning seven scenes from Pulp Fiction into secret non-fungible tokens. Each will feature digitized excerpts from the original handwritten script for the film, as well as snippets of audio commentary from the director himself. Hey, do you own NFTs? What are you waiting for? 
And now it's time for a Did You Know Fun Fact, selected by Stream CEO Gio Punzo. Did you know that in 1928, WRGB, then W2XB, was started as the world's first television station? It broadcasted from the General Electric facility in Schenectady, New York. It was popularly known as WGY Television. Think of how far we've come since then. Stream media and other streaming and content creators are the 21st century's versions of these early pioneers. We are changing the game and creating the future. People hundreds of years from now will look back and think, hey, this is where it all began. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you see. Thanks and tune in next week for another episode of Stream News.